You prevailed in the Liberation Rite against the Dissidents. Already does the Black Wagon feel quieter than usual without Jadariel, who returned to the Commonwealth. Jadariel! She was a grim, longtime resident of the Downside, grown accustomed to surviving there. She has regained her freedom in the Liberation Rite. You overhear some of your companions reflecting on this. Oh, sorry. She's gone. Just as I was getting to like her. Surely the good Jodariel would rather that we celebrate rather than grieve. You wonder who, if anyone among you, shall be the next to go. Then, Wolfred asks the group to gather. You sense you know that the news he's about to share. Oh, is it about the news? Yeah. yeah. Everyone, I must apologize to bring such news at this late hour, but I feel that you would all wish to know as soon as possible. The context of our plan has changed. So, Wolfred's ambitious plot to spark a revolution in the Commonwealth is peaceful as possible. The current plan's probability of success, 55%. He looks about at everyone before revealing to them that the stars have revealed to you both. The stars above are disappearing. They seem to be fading away one by one. For reasons that the scribes alone may know for certain, though we may all harbor our suspicions. See for yourself if you have any doubt that this is so. A hush falls over your companions, all exhausted from the right and now stunned into silence. If this phenomenon continues unabated, we have every reason to believe it shall. Then the right shall cease when the stars no longer shine. Permanently cease, that is. Your companions exchange glances. You sense negative emotions rising. Confusion. Fear. Before I gave you the impression that, should the Nightwings not prevail in a Liberation Rite, there would be other chances. This remains so, however, our chances are now numbered, the exact number I have yet to ascertain. But to be quite frank, there are more of us than we have chances left. You sense your fellow exiles are beginning to realize what this means. I know this must be difficult to bear, but it is not a cause for panic. Our plan remains essentially unchanged. We shall take which opportunities arise, and return as many as we can. I urge you all to take whatever time you need to think this through. At dawn, we shall head through the... Uh, head south again to the Moonlight Alcove. We can discuss this further then. Now please, get some rest. Our path grows harder, though not insurmountable. Not while we stand together. We can still prevail. The group disperses. Some whisper in hushed tones, others return to their quarters, speechless. There will be time, later, to better understand this omen. After the liberation of Jadariel, you find the lone minstrel back in the wagon, looking as though no such thing had just occurred this night. You think you see him tilt his head as you approach. Some words of congratulations are in order for this evening. I should think, reader. And so, congratulations on prevailing in the Liberation Rite. Surely Jadariel will, shall be most graceful, uh, grateful, and her safe return unto your commonwealth ought to benefit the plan in which you all must play a part. As for your adversaries of the dissidents, they must have... this must, been, must have been a bitter loss for them, and Barker, although they must have known their chance was far from certain. Thus shall we all await the next turn of the cycle of the rites. Celeste and I are to return to our respective duties for the time as now. Scribe's gate is sealed. I await when we shall all uh I await when next we all shall meet. When next you may live up to the glory of the Nightwings in the eyes of the eight scribes, which yet shine down for us. He trails off, then nods to you in his cordial manner, and bids you a good rest of the evening. On kinship. In the wards of Triesta Tithis, the Blessed Born. Each one of us within the eight, besides the imp Haub, we would have perished in the downside had we not found each other, and together formed our union. Here in the downside, all are bound. But that which binds us here does not have, does have some latitude. We chose the bond of kinship. Our exiles took precedence over our differences. The Empire, which has subjugated all of our kind into a tense alliance, shall give way to a society in which our differences are paramount. There, may you embrace your ancient cultures, whilst jointly forming a great culture all its own. Next to mercy, it's kinship that shall be from the bedrock of our commonwealth.
Well, that shall form it. Okay. She seems to be optimistic all the time. Yeah. About unity. Well, continue on our journey. Good morning, everyone. We are at the mercy of the stars, and none can say how soon they'll shine for us again. Let us recover for a while at the Moonlight Alcove and decide how to proceed. Okay, so wait for the next cycle. We'll have to see how many stars there are. I mean, chances are we're going to free everybody but three. And that's just going to be how it goes. And maybe there's some kind of, like, final yeah. one where everybody gets to go up as one final batch, maybe? I don't know. Oh. Bide your time. Best make yourselves as comfortable as possible here for the time, Nightwings. The right ought to commence again before we know it. Until then, be well. Thus, you and your companions remain on the mountaintop, waiting for the stars to shine again. The cycle of the rites is ending. The news that Volford and the Lone Minstrel revealed to you now threatens to disrupt the group's resolve. Who most deserves their freedom? Can there be any hope for your revolutionary plan to change the Commonwealth if too few exiles manage to return? These questions hang like a fog over you and your companions as you linger there on Mount Elodiel. For now, the exiles of the Nightwings vow to stick together for as many opportunities as they shall have. Many moons pass. One cold evening, Wolford finds you off on your own. There's a room this time. Well, my boy, it's time once more. Come see. Wolford indicates the sky. And through the snow, you see that he is right. Soon, all of your companions are gathered. Wolford regards the group in his city manner. As you all know, I have refrained from participating in the rites myself. This was a long-held choice of mine, for a variety of reasons. Chief among those reasons is so that I may direct our plan, fee free from unwanted attention, both from our adversaries here and those who would oppose us in the Commonwealth. Another reason is, my past experience conducting the rites, it did not end on good terms. Before my time, the Nightwings comprised of three exiles, Brighton, Arisa, and Orlick. Little Tizo was with them, as well, still learning in their ways. So Brighton, a former exile of the Nightwings who conducted the rites alongside Orlick and Arisa. Arisa and Orlick. I Except wish, his portraits changed. Yeah, you know? I wish we could see the old portrait, too. He was just like a human with shaggy brown hair, but yeah. now he's... That. He's a demon. After Brighton regained his freedom in the Liberation Rites, the Nightwings took me in, a story for another time, but for one thing. I had the capacity to read the ancient book. Anyway, when we car when we earned our way into the Liberation Rite, Orlek was anointed to return. He had long been in exile, and his horns were beginning to show. We prevailed. Little Tizo snuffed the accuser's pyre. Thus, Orlek earned his freedom. However, just as the shiver pool was to engulf him, Arisa, she shoved him from the precipice and took her freedom <gasps> instead. Whoa, 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 wait. We thought that she had died on the mountain and Orlek had somehow died too. Was he lying? He just said that they were lost. I guess so not. So instead she, she stole it from him. took it? Oh. She perished, of course. Only the anointed can transcend the t shimmer pool, but... She thought the warnings were a myth and paid the price. She was always restless. Oh, so she died. I presumed Orlek perished too. To survive a fall from Mount Elodial, I was left alone. Subsequently, I made no attempts to reassemble the Nightwings, knowing that such treachery, such harm was even possible as part of this ordeal. I, frankly, still do not hold Teresa entirely at fault for what transpired. I hold instead the Commonwealth responsible for put us in this desperate situation. And I resist the urge to think the rights may partly be to blame, as well, for pitting brother against brother, sister against sister. Volford breathes a deep sigh. Now I see that Orlek yet lives, at a time when our plan is already in motion, and even the stars are fading, perhaps a signal that the scribes themselves know that the night wings are divided, and they do not approve. But I chose to take it as a sign that we must act. The scribes have put us in a set of circumstances where each one of us may rise to the occasion. The Nightwings on our plan need all the help they can get, and so I have made a decision, which I wish to announce to you here, uh, here to you all. 
In the name of the Nightwings, and reader by your leave, I would conduct the rites again. Long have my skills languished in this matter. I admit, although I trust I shall regain them soon enough. And while I once vowed to never conduct the rites again, our present situation calls for all our resources to be brought to bear. So, if I may be of use during the rites to come, I shall avail myself. That is all. Now then, our reader shall determine where we are headed. Come first light. Fulford bows his head to everyone, while the others exchange looks, then, one by one, salute him in turn. Wolford stands by, ready to conduct the rites again. Welcome back into the ranks. Once more do several stars shine upon the night sky, revealing several paths for you to pursue towards salvation. The stars themselves await the will of the Nightwing. Choose your path towards salvation. Triesta. Kalmer and Lou. So who would we fight? Oh. So Ignarius. Eh. Them and them. I wanna try going up against Ignarius just to see. Ignarius is too far down in the standings. Yeah, so us going after him is not going to change a dang thing. My issue is, I want to beat Deluge to a pulp to get Ignarius and... Well, I'll... there's no way we're going to be able to take Deluge down. Hmm? What's going to happen is, I still think we... Well, I don't know. I don't know how many rights we have left. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight Deru Deluge in a liberation right because, quite frankly, well, there's no more story for him. I don't know him. if we're ever going to be able to beat them down that many points. It only goes down by two, and we only get the opportunity to fight these guys occasionally. So I don't think I don't think that's going to work. So the problem is, if you go up against Ignarius, what are you doing? I wanted to see. I wanted to take a look at the achievements. There's one specifically that I wanted to look at. Um. Huh. Starstruck was what I was looking at. I'd seen it earlier, but it's combat related as okay. opposed to plot. So the problem is if you fight Ignarius, we're likely never to fight him again. Um Well, I don't think we're I think we're only ever gonna see him as a as a basic enemy. I don't think we'll ever have a We'll never be able to give a liberation right with him again. Yeah, currently we're set up to fight the essence, but we can't change that in any way, shape, or form. I uh, see, I was thinking either we go up against the tempers just so we could learn more from Ignarius, and maybe he could tell us what happened with Orlek, considering they got uh, attacked. And the other option is Delbert, because... Yeah, I don't want to face Deluge, because I think it's a waste of time, but I would like it if Faye got a little bit more closure with the Almer yeah. and Delbert, or if we face Ign Ignarius, because they got pushed out the last time. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, somebody had spoiled this for me, mm -hmm. uh, specifically, that, well, not even spoiled it for me, but they were uh, shipping Faye and and the son. Yes. Like, but super th early on. That's been implied from the very, very, and, very and beginning like, that she I, had a crush on I actually, him. I want to figure out how to make it happen, damn it. I mean... If we pass up this opportunity to see them now, we might never. Well, I guess part of it is we can't change anything. My my fear is that we go after uh, the fate and they and fall from the rank. They fall from the rank. Yeah. Right? So do you want to face the tempers? I don't know. I'm just worried that we're not going to be able to see Faye. Like, Faye's not going to be able to see Dalbert. But I don't want them to fall in the rankings. Yeah, that's the that's the fear. I mean, we could lose to them. Mm, I don't like losing. Because that would actually put put them towards the top. I don't like losing. But yeah, I don't like losing either. <laughs> I, so do you want to face Ignarius since we missed out last time? Probably, yeah. Just so I, I'd like to learn more about Orlek, too. Okay. Okay. Decisions have been made, I think. I want to go back to the Rogue Star just because I really enjoy this map. But let's go after the Fate just so... So we can have some more time to talk to so them. So far, Faye hasn't had whatever... Like, she hasn't been able to go up because she hasn't progressed with her story enough, I think. Yeah, we haven't progressed with Faye, Faye's story. We don't actually know anything about Faye. Uh, I should probably use her more often. 
Because the problem is, we don't know what crime she committed apart from be just being a weirdo. And <laughs> it also really doesn't... It, it feels like sending her up is kind of unnecessary as long as she ends up in the same place as Almer. But we want to see if there's anything between them, which is why I want to... Yeah, so let, let's go after these guys, win or lose. These are the only people I think I'd be willing to lose to. Like, I feel bad about Ignarius, but... I'm em emotionally invested in these guys. Still gonna try to win. Probably, yeah. It is good to know that Dalbert Oldheart and the Fate are still go are going at this still, as I once feared for them. The respect for the traditions of the rites has sometimes held them back. He then shares with you what details he's attained of your next adversaries. Dalbert Oldheart, an adversary who showed you respect and even generosity. Despite his advanced age, he also made a formidable opponent. He and his son. The so-called Almer the Helpless, ever present at his father's side. He was abandoned as an infant before Dalbert found him and raised him as his own. Dalbert taught his son everything he knew about his cultural heritage, as an ancestor of one of the Alpha Chiefs thought to be descended from Jomer Minimane himself. However, his more vocal attempts to preserve old Kerr traditions in the Commonwealth often fell on deaf ears, or even roused the anger of officials. One day, he insisted on celebrating Fang Song against the wishes of his family. His family's caution was well founded in this case, for he was taken into custody. Fang Song, an old Kerr holiday in which a single pack of Kerrs vanquished an entire Imperial Brigade. And Jomer's jaws and Jomer's many manes ran red that day, Song of the Chief. So, he fought against a bunch of... Commonwealth? Uh. Well, yeah, well, Jomer many manes maybe fought against Commonwealth. Yeah, but if Dalbert Oldheart wanted to celebrate that, he would have had to fight somebody. Yeah, I don't really? know. Really? Yeah, or was maybe. it just a song? Well, we'll see. We might be able to read his proper... He may have just been ruckusly singing a song about... Oh, oh, celebrating Fang's song. So he probably wasn't reenacting it. Right. As for Almer, as his father was led away, he put up with enough of a... Uh, he put up enough of a fight to where he wound up sharing his father's cell, and soon enough, his sentence... In the downside, their faith brought them into contact with a pack of spiritual curs residing in Jomer Valley. In time, they became acquainted with the rites and helped to revitalize the long struggling triumvirate known as the Fate. They have since struggled on, at times flirting with freedom, though seldom getting within striking distance, yet still they have longed to find a way to return to their ancestral home and family. Good night, my boy. Good night, my boy. What? You bid Volford a good evening. It is too late to take flight, so you make plans to raise at to rise at dawn and continue your travels. Interesting that it's snowing now. I wonder what changes. I Hello. I so hate to thusly contact you, O oh reader. Yet an awful rumor reached me recently that you have within your retinue a traitor. To the Nightwings and the Commonwealth alike. But you would never harbor such a traitor, now would you? I trust your time within the downside would have taught you that. Ooh, you rise after a fitful night of slumber. Somehow, the voice, which thus far has reached you only in the rites, has found its way into your sleep as well. You shake free of it. The time at Moonlight Alcove has made everyone restless. The group is eager to set forth at your command. So, there's a traitor? Uh, well, to the rights in the Commonwealth, it's Volfred. Mm. Maybe? Mm. Maybe? Mm. Who else would it be? I mean, he did just join. So yeah, I don't know. But Cause... everyone else was joining his plan. Yeah. Because he says a rumor has reached him recently that we have a traitor in our midst. The only person that that would apply to is Volfred. That, you know, Orlek is probably aligned with the voice. What is this? You hit something. I killed a nymph. Oh no. How could you? It popped. 
Ye who disbelieve in the rebirth of ye slack, ye defeated us. Defeated. Now, ye flaunt across the skies. Beware, ye who would mock the designs of the withdrawn, ye cannot comprehend the terrors which shall come to ye in time. As the wagon soars across the skies over Wakingwood, you notice Wolfred appears lost in thought. You cannot sense straight away what he is thinking. Let us not accost that. Do not mind me, reader. It, it is simply that being here in this vicinity brings back a lot of memories and gives me much to ponder. I hid within those woods for many, many years, making preparations for our plan. I cast aside my raiments and became untraceable. There I waited for the plan to germinate, so it means a lot now to be here above that place at last. Quite a view, wouldn't you say, my boy? Okay, so we're going to the Glade of Lou. We'll do that in a second. I just want to swing around and see if we've got any other lore points. Because, like, I think I'm still consistently a little bit disappointed that all of the cast doesn't last until the very end of the game. Mm -hmm. Because it feels like you send some up before their time. Yeah. Cause oh, like, hey, there's, there's one. Your flight takes you near to where you breached past Stormwall, into the Deathless Abyss. With the climate of the downside intensifying, you wonder if the storm has spilled forth from its confines and starting to ravage the regions of the land. Because, yeah, I really liked Hedwin, Ruki, and Jadariel. They were cool characters, and now poof. Like... This kind of mid-game section where we're getting rid of characters kind of limits the story. It's, I don't... it's a struggle. Usually you're a t gaining characters and you're forming bonds and some... Oops. So the Nightwing's dark and high skies once more. We suffered much from the defeat you handed us last time. Until our next encounter on a sacred site, I told you to stay out of our way. Get out of my sight! Half the time, I don't even know where they are. Was that one over here? Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like we've got anything else. So we're going to the Glade of Lou, right? Yep. A little bit further. A lot further. Dang. <laughs> Downside's a big go. place. Something of value, or Tizo expressed an interest in taking this route to the Glade of Lou. So, what does Tizo doesn't seem to have any particular reason for that? Yeah, so that might be a boost to Tizo. This is something material. Let's go with this. Okay. Oh, someone wants to talk. There. Wolford appears to have finished sealing some sort of document. He smiles as he approaches he you. Us. Hello, my boy. Was just on my way out to make a drop. Report a bit of progress on our su uh, our supporters on the other side should like to know. It is not clear to you as yet exactly how Wolford is able to communicate with agents in the Commonwealth. We have our ways of making certain that such messages may manage to make their way to whom they need to reach, most of the time at least. It's not exactly the most dignified of message, but the messenger imp is hard-working as the rest of us, or dare I say more so. He is one of Volfred's couriers tasked with delivering news to and from the Commonwealth. <laughs> most imps lack the capacity to do that job. They, of course, cannot travel the outer boundaries of the downside, but they can squeeze much closer than any of us. Volfred offers to tell you more about the process. It seems that he has been using certain imps to relay messages to his agents in the Commonwealth for some time now. From that point, we depend on certain other means. A trafficker like Ruki would likely be familiar with them. Then my agents intercept the messages as they arrive. The messages are coded, and in the off chance they reveal themselves before unwanted eyes. But even still, my agents put themselves at, in great peril there, supporting our cause and our plan. I could not ask for a more dedicated bunch. A shame we cannot meet them, separated as we are. If we succeed in our endeavors, it shall be... Thanks in no small part to them. They have identified hundreds of citizens, grown loyal to our cause, found hidden corners where they can speak freely. Their goal is to grow in numbers while remaining safe. 
for we cannot resist the Commonwealth if too few citizens stand with us, whether due to apathy or fear, or lack of willingness to see our nation as we do. Some of these agents I have known for many, many years, since long before my exile. Many were former students from my days of teaching Commonwealth doctrine. It was clear then who among us did not take the common view. These days I report them to, uh, to them our progress, and they in turn report theirs back. From that assessment, I update the estimation of our planned success. Our chances of success increase substantially each time we liberate one of our own, but those loyal to us in the Commonwealth slowly gather strength regardless, knowing of our efforts. Thus do we inspire each other, not unlike the dynamics which I see among the Nightwings here. Now, good afternoon then, reader. I have a delivery to make. He strides out the wagon, bearing the sealed message. Okay, so we have something? Oh, Wolfred's biography. He so, was a professor. Yeah, he was a profession professor. He taught enough history to know that he was forced to teach. Oh, what he was forced to teach was not the full truth. Cassius. He was publishing is the crime. Yeah, twenty first to six minutes suggesting he is contemplative and passionate. Let's see, the plan is Nothing new. Publishing. He owned and operated a stamping press, using it to spread anti-commonwealth propaganda. His mercy guides our hand. We spare your lives. We rid ourselves of you. Yes, yeah, same thing. So I wanted to just look. So By including him in one right, he can max out? No, he's just got huge amounts of inspiration. Okay. They get uh, As long as they have um, inspiration, they get twice as much EXP. I see. So we still don't know enough about her. We know... About him. Years exiled three. Yep, we know about him. We still don't know about Fang. Yeah. And he doesn't have anything applicable. Yeah, he doesn't either. need anything. But yeah, we don't know anything about Fay. So I should probably start using Fay, Volfrid, and, and Bertrude. Because, well, no, Fay, Pamatha, and Bertrude. Well, Pamatha, we need to figure out. Like, yeah, so I'll, I'll use Pamatha more often just because if we can, I feel like if we get them up to four, uh, generally they give us the full story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll do Faye, Pamatha, and Bertrude for this next right. I'd like to bring in Volfred, but uh, I want to work on these three for reasons. Okay, Book of Rights. Afterward. A list of terms in which you may wish to know. An exile of the downside as a reader of this book and a conductor of the rights, you are engaged now in a cycle which has lasted since the dawn of this age. Here within this book is offered summary of all key figures, locales, terms, and astral phenomena you shall encounter, either firsthand or in passing on your path. To know the history of the downside and the rights is to prepare yourself to walk the path towards enlightenment, and then to liberty itself. Should you be free again, remember, reveal not the rights themselves, nor the existence of this book. Oh, well, that's just about glory, hope. Mastery. Rights, rank. Trestatethis. Yeah, so these are all of the terms that we've seen so far. It's a glossary. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. There might be some useful information in there. I'm not going to leave it alone necessarily. Yeah, because he didn't flip to each page. It's considered new. Yeah, some people might want me to read this, and I might. It's just, it's so much just... It's just things we've more or less already seen come up in dialogue. Mm -hmm. And that's not something I want to just sit around and yeah, read. Yeah, because they had all the constellations and other things. Yeah, so let's search for some valuables. You and Pamatha spend much of the day searching through the dense foliage of Cinderroot until, at last. Hey, this is something, at least. You found fairy mites. They should fetch a decent price. You return to the wagon. So it's a selling item. So the other thing is Sandra. So it's the same stuff. Yeah, nothing new. So I think we've kind of exhausted her dialogue, and we have to wait until something new happens. I'll keep checking, but you don't need to feel... The Glade of Blue! ...required to read it. Okay. 